Hello there, magic practitioners of all shapes and sizes. Welcome to my spell book. My name is Chance, and thank you for tuning in to the eighth installment in our cantrip series, Druid Craft. Now, this spell is only usable by the Druid class and anyone with access to their spell book. And it is found in the player's handbook and is, quite frankly, a staple for the class. Now let's take a quick look at some mechanics here. Cast time, one action. Range is a measly 30 feet. The duration is instantaneous. And the effect is essentially one of four. Just breaking it down point form here. First, predict the weather. Second, cause plant growth. Third, make a harmless sensory effect so long as it fits within a five foot cube. And fourth, to extinguish the small flame. The components are somatic and verbal, meaning not only do you have to gesture, but you have to speak the incantation as well. And the school is, unsurprisingly, transmutation. Now let's take a look at the full description here. Whispering to the spirits of nature, you create one of the following effects within range. You create a tiny, harmless sensory effect that predicts what the weather will be at your location for the next 24 hours. The effect might manifest as a golden orb for clear skies, a cloud for rain, a falling snowflake for so snow, and so on. The effect persists for one hour. You instantaneously make a blossom or make a flower blossom, a seed pod open, or a leaf bud bloom. You create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect such as falling leaves, puff of wind, the sound of a small animal, or the faint odor of a scar. The effect must fit it within a five foot cube. And lastly, you instantly light or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. So, yeah, how useful is it? Depends on your campaign, in all honesty. On a seafaring voyage, for example, the, uh, the sensory effect, or the, the uh, sorry, I'm losing track of my words, the ability to predict weather, there we go, might come in handy quite a bit. On a seafaring voyage, I could see this spell in general doing quite well. Um, in addition to that, it's kind of the druid version of prestidigitation. That being said, let's get into some alternative uses here. So immediately what comes to my mind is making fruit ripen so that your party can eat it consequence free. I think this would be a great, great use of it. And another interesting use of using that gust of wind, that harmless sensory effect, to float documents out the window, vital documents. And you could also use the, the sound or even the smell in some degrees to, mat, to give the impression that a creature's around, such as a snake, uh, when it's really not. And this could be used to strike fear into enemies or even just serve as a diversion. Uh, certainly your creativity is the limit when it comes to this spell. That being said, I am incredibly interested to see what you great spell practitioners have used it for in the past. Some ideas you'd like to try out. Please take it down in the comment section below. I am looking forward to reading them. Thank you so much everyone and have a great, great, great day.